Uh, yo, what is up, guys? Cat May, Bash God, what is up, fam? Good to see you, Damien. I see you guys. Cookie Magic, Zach, sip your coffee. What is up? Holy shit, man. I got a lot to talk about, man. I got a lot to talk about. Zach, what is up? Andrew Panda, Josh is safe. What an episode. Yo, man. I'm telling you, what an episode. This season, this season is going to deliver. Going to deliver. One thing I'm going to tell you right now, man. I want to get straight into this. I want to get straight into this, okay? Um, I want to talk about the eviction part. What, what is that, man? I want to talk. I want to get straight into it, man. Um, but let's let's break down a few things, actually. Let's break down a few things. Uh, yo, what's up, Jaybird? What you saying? A fam. Good to see everybody in here. Salai, what's going on? Uh, Julie, man. Wow, I'm surprised you went first, man. I'll tell you. So pretty much, guys, we talked about this yesterday. I broke this down yesterday, and basically what I said was going to happen is what happened, dude. The two guys are going to protect each other. They're going to grab people on both sides. Uh, the one side's going to want to get rid of the weakest on their side. The other side's going to say, hell no, not going to happen. Nope, not happening. Um, you know, the the, the intricacy of the uh, of, of the teams uh, was very interesting. I got so much to say, man. I got so much to say. Uh, um, Josh did well, man. I mean, Josh did well, but Josh didn't do well. Josh did well, but Josh didn't do well. Josh almost sank himself, man. By telling Julie she's the target, she was going to try to pin it on him and blame him. Now, uh, I'm going to tell you something. I didn't see uh, a, a few of the answers because the stream I was watching actually shut down while they were answering the uh, – while um, Aris was asking the questions. It actually uh, shut down. So I didn't get to see the answers. All I know – I want to talk about this, man. This is very important. The, um, the eviction, man, they got to change that. They have to change it. That's giving me BB can, what was it, seven vibes all over again, man. They got to change that. What, what Arissa did there was dirty. They got to change it. That is wrong. That is wrong. She asks, uh, was it Jedson? The question to Jedson, the question to Jedson was, what are your thoughts or how important is a final two? How important is a final two or something along those lines? And he's like, yo, final two, yeah, man, it's important. Yeah, sits down. Then they ask, I don't know, Josh. Literally exposing his game. You can't do that, man. You can't do that. If you're gonna ask these questions, make it make it across the board, man. You can't do this, man. You can't do this, man. It's just not. It, it's not how it works, man. Um, what's up, everybody? By the way, I see you guys coming in. It just doesn't work, man. You can't do that, man. You can't do that. What is a what does a final two mean to you? Oh, yo, I'll take this. I got this, guys. I got this. Yo, final two, very important, man. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm a loyal guy. Final twos, you know, I'm a, I'm a ride or die guy. If I got you, I got you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Josh, so you threw Julie's name out there, and you were talking about Rohan, and you said this about that person. Uh, can you explain why you said that? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, Arissa, uh, uh, shit, yeah, about that. Uh Ooh, uh, yeah, uh, mm. you can't do that. Put it across the board, man. Come on, that was bullshit. That was that was total bullshit, man. That was total bullshit. Uh, welcome in everybody. Yo, what man? I what's up? Arissa, Arissa's not Julie. What do you mean Arissa's not? Ju no, dude, that doesn't matter, man. This is a game. Listen, these guys, I, I listen. You can't. I know people want the entertainment value, of course, man. Let them play the game. You're gonna get the entertainment value that way. Don't don't do this. Don't do this shit, dude. Don't do this shit. Don't ruin. Everything was good. Everything was going good. The way the teams are set up, man, it was it was there was back and forth. The teams were already turning on each other. Things were going on. The game was being played. These guys, day one, dude, week one, people were already doing their business. People were already turning on their own teammates. It's the way the teams uh, the team is set up is when your team loses, you're gonna start turning on each other because one of you has to go. Let that happen. Don't start doing this stuff, man. Don't start doing this, man. You're you're putting too much, man. You're putting too much, and and it's just gonna, it's just not good. So this is what I'm gonna say now, okay? This is what I'm gonna say, man. Because these questions like this are coming out, these players are gonna clam up. They're not gonna be as open to talk. And who loses? The fandom. That's who's gonna lose is the viewers. Because now people are like, yo, I can't even say what I want to say because on eviction night, my ass is gonna get called out. I can't even talk now. Because my ass is going to get called out on eviction night. I, I don't even want to say anything anymore. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. And that's what happens, dude. When you get stupid shit like this, you're going to start getting people that are going to be like, yo, I don't want to open my mouth. I'm just, and you're going to have a bunch of people that don't want to talk now. And you're going you're gonna to clam 
the game up. You just that right there ruined the, the season was on yo uh zooty thank you so much for the sub yo what's up guys everyone hit that follow button and the subs everything yo thank you so much guys i appreciate you i see you and uh yo thank you for coming in guys we're gonna break down this episode i got a lot to say about it i got a lot to say about it man um a lot to say about it uh a lot to say. I thought this, the twist was really good. I like the team aspect. I was like, yo, I love this. I'm behind this. I think it's a great change to the game. Um, and then they go and do this, man. Like, come on. You know? Let the players play, man. Let the players play. Don't do this shit, man. Uh, production of the show already bothers me and takes away from the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, is this the questions we don't like? If so, I agree. Yes. Uh, Mini Cheddar, what's up, fam? Welcome in. Yes. The questions... Ruin the game, dude. Ruin the game. Um, like I said, there was enough stuff going on. There's enough gameplay going on. You see people already turning on their sides. They're like, yo, I want to work with you. I want to come, you know, we're going to make a little four-man alliance, whatever it is, or four-person alliance, I should say. Uh, you know, we're going to work together to take these people out, this and that. They were playing the game. They were playing the game already. The game was, dude, there was, it was, it was going. It was going. Uh, and then they had to do this. Now I tell you, man, people are going to... Uh, people are going to clam up and not talk as much because they know they're going to get their ass called out by Arissa. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. Um, can we all agree that Latoya is an absolute... I love Latoya, man. Love her. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna. Uh, there's a couple things I picked up on. Yo, Kristen, let's go, fam. Thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate you. Uh, guys, everybody in here right now, thank you so much for being here. I love you. We're going to talk about this episode. I want to I want to, I want to. to bang this out because I got so much to say, man. I got so much to say. So, um, yo, uh, Kristen, thank you so much. Yeah, beauty. Why not just everyone on the block 30 seconds to plea? I mean, that would take a little while. I understand maybe why they don't do that. I get it, but maybe, yeah. Maybe give them a chance. Maybe don't. This is this is what I don't understand. They're playing for a hundred thousand. Yo, Chris, thank you so much, fam. They're playing for a hundred thousand dollars. Let them get a shot. Let them do their thing. Don't throw these stupid questions at them and try to sink them, dude. They got some of them got absolutely just absolutely destroyed by these questions. And then they asked Jensen, "Yo, what are your thoughts on a final two? Come on, man. Come on, man. You can't do that. If you're gonna ask one person what their thoughts of a final two is, ask everyone what their thoughts of a final two is. You know what I mean? Yo, Jetson, what are your thoughts on a final two, man? Come on, I want to hear this. Oh, good. Oh, your thoughts? You, you love a final two? It's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Josh, why are you talking shit about Julie? Then you're talking shit about Tashawn. Why are you doing that, Josh? Explain to us why you're targeting. Why are you targeting them? And Josh, like, uh, 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 yeah, uh, hmm. Can you ask me the final two question? Can you? Do you uh, Arissa, can you just ask me what my thoughts on the final two are? I'll take that question instead. No, 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 Josh. I'm going to ask you why you're targeting these people in the house instead. I want to ask you that. I'm going to ask – I asked Jensen what his thoughts on the final two are. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you, Arissa. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it's crazy, man. Come on, guys. Don't pull that shit. Don't pull that shit. Uh, do you think Josh the reason Julie went home? No, I don't. I don't. I think Julie was targeted by Tashawn – uh, Jensen and uh, Latoya and who else was in there? Was a, and then they had like their own. Then they kind of you know they had their plan. Uh, that's that's what I was talking about yesterday, man. The thing with this with this team's twist, as soon as a couple of people jump ship to the other side, uh, it's unbalanced, right? So all it takes is for one team to be like, yo, we're voting this person out. You grab one person from the other team, you know, one, two, three, however many you want. Once the numbers are tipped, it's over. They have no chance. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the other team wants. It's what. Um, what the majority is right so it's 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 kind of twisted like that i think josh uh playing poorly helped him yeah no for sure for sure and beth beth brought that up beth is like yo man josh is a target let's keep him around let's keep him around why why get rid of him when you know he's gonna stay and, and people already don't like him next week he's gonna go home or if he doesn't go home next week at least he'll be targeted and then we get someone you know that's the right play man keep him around absolutely julie's gonna get your mouth shut yeah 100 percent 100% man and Latoya called that I want to say yo uh Latoya called that said yo man listen and now here's the thing here's the thing I'm going to be very clear here we don't know we don't know the order of what these events how these events happened okay we don't know the order of these events okay so uh you know Latoya did a DR saying yo I don't trust Julie because I feel like she's the kind of person to open her mouth for all we know for all we know 
Julie could have opened her mouth before that DR, and then they kind of put that DR in after. That happens all the time, okay? I'll be very straight with you guys. That stuff happens all the time where they move things around to make it work for a storyline, okay? I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm saying it could have happened, okay? Um, editing is crazy. Dude, man, the... Uh, I'll tell you something, man. I had so much to say. Now, here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. Oh, are the feeds on tonight? Do the feeds start tonight? I don't even know. Do they start tonight? Uh, here's the other thing, too, is um, one thing I caught. One thing I caught, okay? I feel like uh, Latoya is not um, very liked by a lot of the house guests. Now, I could be very wrong, okay? Because I'll tell you something. I feel like she hasn't opened up yet. And you know why I say that? Here's why I say that. Okay, here's why I say that when they were all sitting in the backyard and that was actually a beautiful. So, yo, I, I like that scene where uh, where, you know, they're all sitting in the backyard and then Latoya is like, yo, I'm going to say and they're like, yo, you're yo, finally you're t you're talking. They, they, they literally everyone turned their head and like, yo, this is what we've been waiting for. Finally, you're going to join the conversation. That's big. And I know you guys, some of you guys might have thought, well, who cares? Trust me, that's big. That means that she's not having very many conversations with people. She's not very close to people. people she's not opening up to people. She's been very closed. And in that house, man, you, if you're very closed, you don't build those bonds. It's very important. It's very important. So the, the fact when people said, yo, finally, this is what we've been waiting for. Open up. Talk to us. You know, it's like, yes, this is what we've been trying to do. We've been trying to talk to you. What that means is, is, is what I'm, I'm getting from that is she hasn't been talking to too many people. And uh, that, that's not good. That's not good in the house. That's not good in the house. All right. So um, the way she deals with pressure, stress is very standoffish. Yeah, that, I'm surprised. I'll be very honest with you, man. I, in a way, I kind of like what she did because she didn't feed into, you know, Julia's like, yo, approaching her like, yo, you, you talking about me? You know, and, and what Latoya did in a way, it was like she didn't bring attention to it. Maybe she did in a way, but she's like, yo, I'm not dealing with this. Like, see you later. But in another way, she was basically saying, yo, I'm guilty. You know, she didn't de-escalate it. She walked away from it. There's two ways to look at it. One, she's like, yo, I'm not entertaining this. Like, you know, I don't want to make this big blow up. We're not going to get an argument because that's going to put the, the target on me. You know, and that's what Julie's trying to do. She's trying to flip it on her. She's like, yo, I'm not, I'm not entertaining this. I'm going to go to the hot tub and I'm going to get away from you. Because in, re in reality, if Julie's going home, if Julie's going home, Latoya doesn't have to explain anything to her. Julie's gone. Julie's gone, and Latoya knows that she's going home, so she's like, yo, I don't have to entertain this. You know what I mean? I don't have to tell you anything, because in, in Latoya's mind, she knows that Julie's going home. So it's like, yo, I don't need to talk to you about this. I'm going to go to the hot tub, and you know what? In, in a few hours or next day or a couple days, Julie's not even in the house anymore, so it doesn't matter. Um, I think that's why I handled that situation fairly well, uh, but there is a way to handle it and shut it down non-inflammatory way. She basically told her to fuck off, and that isn't good. But that's the thing, that's what I'm saying. And I'm also saying is um, uh, she's basically saying, yo, man, like, I'm not going to talk to you about it. We're not going to entertain this. I know you're trying to put this on me, and I'm not going to play for this win. Yo, welcome to the family, guys. Uh, Brenna May was up, and uh, Carter was up. Uh, welcome in, guys. I always like meeting new people and chatting with new people. Uh, don't be shy. Join the conversation. Say what's up in the chat, guys. I will try to get to a lot of your things. I know I'm firing a lot of things out right now. I'm a little bit about the um, the, the the eviction, man. I, I, I'm a little fired up about it, man. I'm not going to lie. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I think the, twi the team twist was fantastic. I think it adds so many layers to the game, and I think it brings a lot of uh, gameplay but then it, they, they go ahead with this eviction, like Arissa giving them like a Q&A. Like this is like, so what are you doing, man? Relax. It's back. Yo, let's go, you beauties. That's awesome. So I won't be able to watch the feeds because I am streaming right now. But if you guys want to keep me updated, if you guys want to keep me updated in the chat, man, I am totally cool with that. Um, I don't like the question. Superstore, what's up? Mama4, what's up, baby? What you saying, fam? Um, when Julie said, I really, uh, I really want to be able to share my story before I leave, and then they showed her telling the story, I wondered if she was a possible target because otherwise, why would they not save that story for later on in the season? Yeah, so she probably, I mean, we don't know. Maybe she knew then that she was the target. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. I don't know. Uh, but yes, yes. Uh, BB Ken is back. Let's go. Jerea the General. Yo, very good to have you guys up in here. Uh, first of all, I want to say everybody welcome in here. Uh, we are discussing... Uh, the episode so if you haven't watched it you don't want the spoilers I mean obviously this is not the right place for you uh, but yo I'll tell you right now I'm loving the season I'm loving this cast I am not liking the uh, questions from Marissa don't ruin a good thing guys you put in a you finally put in a twist that everyone's like yo 
We can get behind this. This is a cool twist. Teams, all this stuff, and then you're like, yo, just kidding though. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna just throw a big old flame in there, man. And just let it all blow up, you know? Uh, I don't like that. Uh, the question's horrendous. Uh, horrible idea. Uh, you want to trade all oh, your picks because you got the draft. You picked Julie. That's right. Uh, all right. What do you think of Josh exposing his game? So I don't see. Okay, here's the thing. I, did he expose it in, the, in in the questions? Because I'm gonna be very honest with you. My feed, the one I was watching on, went down during those questions. So all I heard was, um, all I heard was the question to Jedson, and then the question. I heard like a couple more questions. Uh, when it got to Josh, I heard uh, Arissa's question was basically like, "Yo, she basically burned him, right? Is it Josh that she burned?" And then I didn't hear his answer. I didn't hear his answer. So I, uh, I'm, I'm a little out of the loop with that stuff, to be very, very honest with you. Is it bad? Uh, all my picks are against each other this week. It's cr- that's, that's a big, that's the big wrench, man. So we did this, we did, for those that don't know, we did a, a draft through the community here. And um, it just puts a whole wrench in everything. Okay, so let's discuss, okay, let's break it down from the, uh, apparently no one had to sit out for the comp. So it was seven versus six. See, ooh, see, ah, I don't know if I, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that now. Uh, now, yeah, see, same here, Foxy. That link that I was using, same thing, dude. It didn't work. Uh, it cut out halfway through. I had to go find another link. Anyway, uh, yeah, no. So here's my thoughts. It was seven versus six in the HOH comp, apparently. Um, I don't like that. Yeah, that's the one, Jaybird. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that i don't know how i feel about now again it depends what the competition is maybe it was a disadvantage to have an extra person you know what i mean like we don't know yet we don't know the details we don't know the details so um i'll tell you it's um we don't know the details yet we don't know the details yet but seven versus six was it an endurance comp was it a physical comp did everyone have to cross the line maybe it's an advantage uh maybe it's an advantage to have less people we don't know yet but um i don't know how i feel i don't know how i feel about um about 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 this uh this thing anymore man i like i like the team twist i really really enjoyed that then they throw this big wrench in it like i said with um with the two teams they have the drama built in right if you're on the bottom you know you're on the bottom you know they're going to target you you got to make friends on the other side um you know so that keeps you safe uh the big dogs gotta gotta protect themselves and they know that they got to keep each other safe work both angles uh stuff like that and uh, and and then they go ahead and do these questions. I don't know how I feel about it. So could someone explain to me? Because again, the the site I was using went down uh, during these questions. So I don't I don't know what happened. So these questions come from the house guests. They ask people certain questions. See, I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, what are your thoughts on a final two? That's what Jensen got asked. What are your thoughts about a final two? Come on, man. Come on. Uh, I was hoping there would be solo H O H comps, and maybe you can't nominate your own team for the first few weeks. Then the comps are still fair. You had to wait for another link. Uh, yes, I did too. I did too. Uh, I did too. So they gave another link and I watched it there. Uh, but I missed some in between. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I missed some in between. I missed uh, some stuff in between. Uh, people on the winning team get to submit questions they want to ask people on the losing team. Then Arissa asked those questions anonymously. See, I don't like that. 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 So you, so hold on. So you pick, so it was obviously, Je, it was probably Jedson that probably asked uh, to Sean the question, right? Right? You're in Canada. Watch that shit on Globe. I don't have, uh, I canceled my cable, dude. I canceled my uh, cable. Uh, Team Tara? Yeah, I like Tara. I like Tara. I like Tara. Is she going to do anything? Maybe not. I don't know, but I like Tara. Um, if you... To Sean, yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying though. So he gave him a, yeah, you can actually, uh, hold on, you can actually, um, um, if you buy these things called rabbit ears, you can actually watch it even without cable. That's what I did before. So anyway, uh, so to Sean asked Jedson his question, and that's what I'm saying. He gave him a layup, right? So, so to Sean asked Jedson a question, it's like, yo, man, what are your thoughts on a final two? <laughs> it's like, yo, all right, no sweat. Uh, yo, my thoughts on a final two, man, I, you know, and he's basically, yo, Whoever, you know, my final two means everything to me, man. I'm loyal, blah, 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 sits down. You know, that's a layup. You can't do that, man. You can't do that. You can't. It's got to be across the board. You can't give one person a layup answer or a question like that and then burn another person's game. It just it doesn't work that way. It reminds me of season seven, all right? 
Uh, it reminds me of season seven when they brought the house guests in, okay? And uh, Big Brother asked them, tell us one thing you don't want the house guests to know about you. I don't know if you guys remember this, okay? I don't know if you guys remember this, okay? Uh, on season seven, they're like, you can't put links in here, my friend. You can't put links in here, my friend. So on season seven, um, they said, um, uh, tell us something you don't want the house guests to know. And then they played them. They played them in front of the whole house. And I remember Damien's, I think it was, was, yo, I don't want people to know I'm, I'm a goalie in hockey. Okay, who gives a shit? Like, who who gives a shit that you're a goalie in hockey? Is that like, you know, and then there was like, I think it was Kira's. I think it was Kira's or something that was like, yo, I don't want the house to know that I'm a good liar. So here's here's Damien's, I think it was Damien. He's like, yo, um, now he tells everybody in the house he's a goalie in hockey. Like, who gives a shit? Who cares? And then, and then, uh, and then, and then Kira says, I don't want the house to know I'm a really good liar. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You, you can't do that, man. So now the house knows that, that this guy's a goalie. Like, who fucking cares? And then they know that, that Kira's a good liar. Now they're not going to trust her. You know what I mean? It's just, come on, man. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Uh, I'll give you my Roger Passer on go and the man. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm good, dude. I'm good. But anyways, um, overall thoughts. Overall thoughts on this, um, on this episode. Uh, love, 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 love the cast. Love the cast. You could tell already there's going to be fireworks. Um, Josh doesn't want to see. So Josh mentioned how there's a Pretty Boys, uh, Pretty Boys 2.0. He's like, yo, we got to stop this. We got to stop this. Now here's my thing. Josh trusted Julie, which was a big mistake. So his read right there is not very good. Okay. Julie sold him out right away. Julie sold him out. Julie sold him out. So uh, Josh's read on who he should trust not very good the person he trusted and was talking shit to other house guests about she went around and told everybody now now here's the thing here's the thing everybody knows that josh doesn't like tashan jedson latoya uh rohan they know that once that information's out it's out it's out there's no taking that back there's no taking that back it's it's the first week and his cards are dealt his hands are dealt. You know, the guy had a bad read. Now, here's the thing too. Julie was a mess. And that was a good call to get her out because a player like that is going to destroy you from the inside. And I talked about this in the podcast yesterday. Uh, when you have a player that, that makes the cracks in your alliance, you need to get rid of them or you want them on the other team and putting the cracks over there. She went right up to, she pulled in. It was like Latoya, Braden. Uh, who was it? There was four people she pulled into the pantry and she's like, yo, guys, listen, without even checking, are these people even on my side? Are these people even on my side? But I'm going to tell them all this information and now those people are going to run to their groups and be like, yo, get get this, man. Julie just told me, Julie just told me that she wants to take out this person. You can't do that. You got to you gotta make sure that if you're going to tell this information and you're going to talk information like that week one, especially when you're, yo, you got to make sure you're talking to the right people. You can't just have six people in a room and you know they're part of four or five different alliances and you're talking to them you know you got to be careful with that stuff man you know um it's just yeah it, it's 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 just you got to you got you, you to play it a little smarter now i will say man uh i think julie would have been phenomenal tv uh phenomenal tv but definitely not a good big brother player um uh, you know i'm just keeping it real i'm keeping it honest i mean uh, and th this is only what we saw. This is only what we saw. Julie spilt all her game to the wrong people time after time. Uh, and she even says, yo, I got a big mouth, man. I got to keep my mouth shut. I got a big mouth. You know, she realizes, yo, I got a big mouth, man. I got to stop talking. But it's too late. The damage is done. And that's the thing with Big Brother. And that's what I, I, when I explain to people. It's like everything you say and do can and will be used against you. It's like the law, right? Uh, because you say something, it came out of your mouth. Now, you know, you can play the denying game, sure. But if there's four or five people in the room that can fact check this, you're in trouble. She openly said in front of four or five other people that, yo, this is what the play is. This is what's going on. And, uh, you know, it's out there. It's done. Her game is buried. Right there, her game is buried. Uh, which is a shame. I think she would have been good TV. But, yeah, uh, not a... Not a not a, not a great player. Not a great player, for sure. Uh, he did do a good job of getting Julie to be his mouthpiece and sync her own game. I uh, wonder if the HOH can nom their own team. I don't think so. I don't think so, my friend. Uh, Masson, I don't think so. I think what it is is, uh, is I, 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 again, I don't know. I don't know. But I think you have to nominate people from the other side. Okay. Uh, very careful with the spoilers. 
Um, Julie got booted. I didn't watch the episode yet. Oh, well, there you go. Well, yeah, well, if you didn't watch the episode, that's that's on you, man. We're doing a, a BB Can a five podcast or BB Can nine podcast here. So yeah, she got booted. Uh, just had to hear a name, agree to and chill. Uh, she had an alliance forming and she told her story. Yeah, if she would have just relaxed, man. She would have just relaxed. Uh, you know, get some information. Uh, you know, get some information. Use it. Don't don't spread it. Don't don't be the one spreading. Okay. Um, I can give you another perfect example. Okay, I'll give you this is I'll give you another ex, uh, personal experience example that happened to me. Season three. Okay, season three. Um, you know, I wanted Neha out, and Greg wants Neha out. Okay, I'm just gonna go back a little bit here. And um, Greg, I, I go up to Greg and I say, Yo, man, we gotta start something. We gotta build some story to tur- to get these people to turn on each other and get Neha out. And Greg's like, Yo, I love that plan. So I'm like, yo, but I just don't want to be the one to say it. He's like, yo, I don't care. I'll be the one to say it. And I'm like, perfect. Because I'm going to basically do the work. Or sorry, I'm going to basically well, do the damage. But Greg is going to take the fall for me. And that's exactly what happened. If you watch season three, okay, or remember season three, what happens is Greg goes around and starts saying, yo, Neha did this and Neha said that. And, and who took the fall for it? Greg. And guess who went home the next week because of it? Greg, not me. But we got Neha out in the process, right? So we got Neha out and then Greg goes after her. So it's stuff like that. You want to be the one that you want to do the damage, but you don't want to take the fall for it. And uh, and Julie was the one that took the fall. She did a lot of damage to a lot of people's games and she took the fall for it. And that's the way it is. I really like Tina. I was like, yo, that was fun. Okay, so I'm going to tell you something, man. That shower scene, oh my God, dude. Uh, that brought back memories for me as well. Uh, again, season three and Greg, holy crap, man. We're going to be talking about Greg a little bit tonight. Uh, you forget when you first get in that house, man, uh, you forget that there's cameras everywhere sometimes, right? So, uh, you, you, and the thing is there's a camera always facing the shower, especially if you're in there talking to people, there's always a camera facing you and then a camera facing the people. Okay. Cause they got to get these angles, right? It's just whatever. Okay. And, um, I'll tell you something, man. So, uh, Greg did it. A lot of people do it where they open the shower and they forget like, yo, we gotta, you gotta cut, cause in the, in the house, you have to cover up before you get out of the shower. So a lot of people, what they do is they bring their clothes into the shower and then like they have their clothes hanging over the door. They take their shower, they dry off in the shower and then they get dressed in the shower. But when you're first in the house, you don't, you, you know, you're not, that's not normal. You don't do that at home, right? You don't have your, your, you don't get dressed in your shower, right? So you kind of forget about that stuff. So it always happens the first week, you know, someone will just like, they get out of the shower, they dry off and then they open the door and they're just naked. And it's like, oh shit, you know, like you forget because it's not normal, right? So, um, dude, that that brought back memories, man. I was dying. They were, dude, that was great. I, I like that. By the way, I like that trio. I like that trio. Tina, Beth, Beth. I'm yo, I'm Team Beth, man. I love Beth. Is my girl. I like Beth a lot. I think she's gonna be a, a gamer. Uh, I think she's gonna be a gamer, and I think she uh, she's got a lot. Yo, she's gonna bring a lot to the table. I see Beth bringing a lot to the table, man. She's gonna be. Uh, Yo, she's gonna bring a lot to the table. Uh, Noisy, what's up? Yo, of course. Uh, do you remember from Mixer, the Italian guy? Of course, man. What's up, dude? What you saying, big dog? Noisy, good to see you up in here, fam. Yo, good to see you. Uh, I just would just let it all out and not think about it. Yeah, well, that's a, it, it happens. It happens a lot of times. People open the door. People open the door, and then they're just like, you know, they're naked, dude. Uh, Greg did. Greg. Greg would drop the towel and then go in the shower. Like, he just didn't even, you know? Bobby did it as well. Every, you know, it happens. It happens. She's a Paris net of the season, I think. Who's this? Beth? Yeah, Beth. Beth has gameplay, man. Beth has gameplay. From what I see right now, again, we haven't seen any feeds. It's an edited show. We have no idea what really happened in week one. Week one, I'll tell you, week one, um, sometimes a lot of things happen that we'll never know. Um, you know, uh, and then, you know, from here on out, we, we, we see the dynamics and who's working with who and, and who's connected and stuff like that. Week one is always a mystery, man. Week one is always a mystery. I like how Tina knows, uh, that she specifically will need to make bonds fast. Yes. So here's, okay. That's what I want to talk about Tina. One thing I will tell you about Tina. She's, um, you know, she says like, I don't even wear makeup. She's a very social, you can tell she's a very social person and she gets along with people and that's big in the house. That's big, but that could only get you so far. Okay. Especially with a team twist, that can only get you so far. Now, I don't think she's seen as a threat. So I think that she can kind of be somewhere in the middle and get far. Uh, but is she gonna be able to do enough to win? That's, that's where we, we don't know yet. I mean, that's obviously week one, right? Um, how the fuck can I watch yesterday's episode? Uh, actually go right, uh, bigbrother.ca. I think you can watch it right on bigbrother.ca. What's up, uh, Mondo fan? What's up, fam? Um, yeah, it's on the BB Can website. So, um, okay, guys, 
So what are your thoughts on everything that went down? I want to know what you guys think. How did everything go? Or what are your thoughts on how the episode went? What do you what do you think about Josh's game? What do you think about Julie's game? What do you think about Tashawn Jedson Latoya Alliance? What do you think about Latoya and Julie? Julie going up to Latoya and kind of you know saying, "Yo, I heard you say my name. Uh, I like that about Julie that she went up and approached it." But Latoya was like, "Yo, man, I'm a, I'm a, I don't need to do this." You're going home. I don't even say what's up. I personally see Tina winning competitions. I mean, everybody. There's always going to be competitions that uh, that everybody can win. There's going to be memory, A and B, physical, endurance, whatever it is. There is always something. There's crap shoots. Okay. So I know a lot of people think that the the, the guys are going to win everything. That's not the case. That's not the case. Okay. Um, that's not the case. There's going to be ones where the, the, the big guys have a little bit of an advantage, for sure. There's going to be some where people that have a really good memory, photographic memory, they have an advantage, for sure. Uh, people that study the days, they're going to have an advantage, for sure. Uh, there's always uh, crap shoots. I mean, anybody can win. So I know people always see, like, they're going to look at Tashawn and, and, uh, and Jensen. They're going to say, yo, we got to get these guys out. They're comp beasts. Yes, they're athletic, but, but, that's not everything because there's so many different kinds of competitions. Uh, but people forget that. People forget there's probably just as many memory comps or uh, AMB comps or trivia comps or whatever crapshoot comps. And there is that there is a physical comp. So people forget that. Uh, I'm glad my boys Jed and Tashawn teamed up. Yeah, uh, that's a team. That's a team. And they're going to keep each other safe, which is good. I'm from Scotland, so I watch through uh, sites online. And oh, there you go. There you go. Well, welcome from Scotland, man. Let's go. That's awesome. Welcome from Canada. I wish Josh was a better player, but not shocked that he is bad. Uh, I would like the questions if they weren't anonymous. See, Marcy, look, look at Marcy. Marcy, that's what's up. See, that's what's up. She just brought, so Marcy, you brought something to the table. So that's what I'm saying. So because they're anonymous, you could say whatever the hell you want, right? Uh, now, here's the other thing too. Because they're anonymous, there's nobody's fact checking. So you could just sit there and be like, yo, um, uh, yo, Tashawn, why are you, uh, why is your alliance with, what, you could just make something up and ask them that question on eviction night. That, there's no fact checking. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you could just make something up. Um, but yeah, you're right. If it wasn't anonymous, if it wasn't anonymous, I think that would be even better because then you got it. Yo, do you really want to ask that question? Do you really want to try to burn them? Because you could burn yourself in the, in the process. I like that. Yo, Mary Snipe, Marcy Snipes. I like that a lot. Marcy, nicely done. Nicely done. That's bringing something to the table, you know? You know what I mean? There's no fact checking. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So I could be like, yo, uh, whoever, I'm just going to use, uh, uh, let's use Tara as an example. Yo, Tara, I, uh, I, I saw, I mean, obviously she's married or whatever, but I'm just going to, you know, whatever, doesn't matter just, just for, you know, uh, uh, Tara, I saw you and, uh, and, uh, I don't know, Josh, I know it's not a, a probably no, obviously, but, uh, you, I saw you and Josh making out in the bedroom. Yo, you want to talk about your showmance? Are you guys in a showmance? And it's like, wait, what? No, I'm not in a showmance. There's no fact checking. You know what I mean? They're just going to say whatever they want to say. And, and I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, but yes, uh, if they weren't anonymous way better. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I'm definitely watching the feeds. Yo, that's what's up. I wish they would go back to like day one of BB one old, USA, where the viewers vote out people. That's like, um, yo, hello, friends, let's play. I like that name. Hello, friends, let's play. Uh, that's like the UK version. UK and um, and uh, and uh, Australia. They do it where the public votes. So that's where, so you know what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, like we have a strategic game. It's, suppo it's supposed to be a strategic game, okay? Where the players are supposed to play uh, in the UK and Australia. I don't even think they're allowed to talk about votes or, or anything like that. They just basically like try to entertain the crowd. And then the crowd votes out the people that they don't find entertaining or whatever, right? So we're supposed to be different than that. And, but I feel like they're trying to like dip into that but they're not dipping into that. So it's like they're trying to get like the, the crowd riled up, but they want the players to play. How do the players play? How do you expect the players to play with twists like this? Where Arissa now is like calling people out. Like, come on. Just, you don't need to call people out, man. Just, just you know, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that, man. You know? You don't need to do that, man. I know what I looked like then, uh, Sung, yeah? Uh, you know what I mean? You don't need to do that, man. You don't need to call, start calling players out on eviction. Like, come on, man. Let them play. Because like I said, and I, and I said this earlier, it's like um, people are going to um, – now that now that their, their games are getting exposed, people aren't going to open up as much. They're going to turtle up. 
You know, they're not, if, if I have, if I know, and listen, if I'm in the house and I know that whatever I say, someone's going to like call me out on eviction night and be like, yo man, I, yo, why are you targeting it? Whatever. I'm not going to talk to anybody. I got my one or two people that I'm close with and that's all I'm going to talk to people that I know. And now here's the thing. If I tell them that, if I tell one, if I'm close to one or two people and I tell them something and then it gets, I get called out on eviction night. I know it was one of those two people that called mass that, that aren't, that aren't loyal to me. Do you understand? So it really is going to, it's going to choke the game. It's going to choke the game. People aren't going to talk because now they're going to be afraid to talk. And, and I think they're, they're breaking a good twist that they put in. They're breaking it with this calling people out bullshit at eviction night. I don't like that. I don't like that. If public voted, some people would have hated that BB 16. Derek was on. Yeah, exactly. Ex yo, Panda. Exactly. So like someone like Derek that's that's dominating season 16, if the public votes, they're going to stop that. They're going to be like, no, no, no. He's got to go. We don't want him dominating the game. And uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, got punished for talking about noms and the votes. Yes. Yes, exactly. So you can't talk about the votes and stuff for the noms, right? You can't talk about that in BBU uh, UK. So it's all public. It's all from the public. So the people, and that's the thing. Like We, we take pride. I mean, at least I do, man. I take pride in our in our um, in our players. We got good players that come to play the game, and uh, when twists like this happen, and it chokes them out. It just I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, yeah. I love BB UK, but they did one season where the twist was the viewers were able to vote day one to give player immunity all the way uh, to the finale, and the person who got the free ride to finale one. Wait, what? Wait, what? What do you mean? So. BB UK, they did one season where the twist was the viewers were able to vote day one to give the player immunity. All the way to fin see that to me is just crazy. That's not even a game anymore. That's like that's I don't know, dude. And then they won. Yeah, I don't know. It was a good idea, but missing on execution. Oh yeah, dude. The the uh, I'll tell you right now. Uh, that's cr first of all, Zach. That's crazy. That's crazy. That that that's crazy. But I'll I'll tell you something, man. Um, um, yeah, the, the, the whole, but these questions shouldn't matter. It's like when Jeff, no, 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 dude, it does matter. It does matter, dude. You know why it matters? You know why it matters? Because she asked Jensen what his thoughts of a final two were. And then she buries like two or three other players. You can't do that. No, it does matter. It definitely matters. Um, it definitely matters. You, if you're going to, if you're going to bury one player, bury them all. If you're going to give one player a layup, give them all layups. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't pick and don't do that. Don't give one guy a layup and then just bury four people's games. No, no. Uh, but these questions shouldn't matter. Yeah, no, it matters. It matters a lot. And it does matter on Survivor as well. Uh, if you talk to Survivor players, they'll tell you they, they hate it. And as a matter of fact, on Survivor, uh, Jeff will actually uh, rip people to shreds if they don't answer the questions. So, yes, it does. It does. People don't want to get asked. Uh, I'll tell you right now, um, people do not want to get asked questions by Jeff at Tribal Council. And when he picks you, and if you give him an answer he doesn't like, he makes you redo it. And and he makes sure you say uh, something that he likes to hear. Uh, so, yes, trust me, yes. Uh, what was Josh's answer that was uh, that he was paranoid? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember what it was. I Because I, actually what it was, my uh, the, the site I was watching cut out during that segment. So I didn't even get to see all the questions. I just heard, like, uh, Jetsons. I heard a couple more, and she was just, like, laying into them. I don't like that, man. I don't like that. Put it, put it square across the board, you know? Uh, why not just have questions and have please instead? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, either either give them all the same question or give them let them all say something real quick or just, I don't know, but don't do that. Don't do that. He did say in response to his question that he was paranoid. Yeah, I missed it. Whatever answer you want, no force to tell the truth. I, um... Yeah, but the fa no, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, Stormy. The fact that wh what was what was one of the bad questions? Because I missed it. It was like, um, you were wasn't it something like wasn't it something like you're targeting this person? Why are you targeting this person? Or you tried to you tried to throw this person on the bus? Wasn't it something like that? Here, give me one sec. We got stream writers. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, Latoya said that she said everyone's name as they were all vulnerable. Only reason I have cables for Big Brother, I'm not risking drops or buffering. Uh, Latoya was asked about why did she say Julie's name. Uh, it's okay that I say they have alcohol now, or should so uh, it should get better now. They already have alcohol. Holy shit, dude! Holy shit! So. Um, the fact that they already have alcohol is kind of crazy. They're on like night seven. Oh wait, no, that's actually that's normal. Never mind. No, that's normal. That's normal. They always do that. They always do that. 
Uh, we they always do that. Sorry, we do get alcohol. Uh, usually uh, day seven or eight or something. That's right. No, that's right. The first celebration, kind of you survived the first week. Um, yeah. If he just came back on, they're in the HOH. Yo, I tell you, man, uh, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i be watching some feeds. I'll be watching some feeds this year. I'm really into it. I, I, here's the thing. I have two ways I want to look at this. Either one, I want to watch the show and just the edited show and break it down that way. So I have like a just like a, a viewer's view of it, uh, an edited view of it. Or uh, or I watch the feeds and then we can talk about it that way. But then you know it's it's tough to break them down because then you know what's going on. Um, for feeds going down a lot. Do you have alcohol going after week one or just celebration? No, no. So yo, come give us up, baby. So we have. Um, so basically, what it is is you, you get alcohol maybe three, four times max in the whole season, max, and that's like a big max. That's a big max. Usually it's like three times if that. So, uh, yeah, it, it, they, they, you can't just drink. I know a lot of people think like, oh, you can just open the fridge, have a beer. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. So they, they control uh, all, the, all the alcohol. So, you know, maybe every few weeks they'll, they'll be like, okay, guys. But here's the thing. Here's the best part. They'll be like, all right, guys, you get alcohol. They'll give you like a, boxed, uh, a, a, a box of boxed wine and like two beers. And then there's like 16 people sitting there like, uh. Huh, you get like a quarter of a glass of, of alcohol, uh, a quarter of a glass of wine each, you know, and everyone's like, well, that was great. So you, what I used to do, because, you know, I don't really care. I'm not a huge drink or anything like that. So I just like, yo, you guys can have fun. Because there's people in there that are like, yo, I need alcohol, you know? And it's like, yo, have my share. I, I don't care, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, feel bad for Julie getting two episodes. I still think we're turning players uh, or a late entry next week, though. Next week, oof, I don't know, man. That's uh, here's the, here's my thoughts. Here's my thoughts on the returning player theory. Um, it hasn't even been hinted yet. So usually on on Premier Night, okay. Now here you got you remember you got to remember, right? So I don't think there's anybody else coming into the house, any new players like like season eight or anything like that. Simply because if there's somebody getting into the house, they've had to been sequestered now for about four weeks. You can't. It's too much. Because they get sequestered like two weeks before the show. Well, no, I guess three weeks. They'd be sequestered three weeks uh, because they can't see who the cast is. They can't watch the episode, so they have to be sequestered. Uh, and Arissa hasn't even mentioned, uh, not even a, a hint of it. So to me, there's no way that there's any returning players uh, simply because there's been no promos about it. They would have hyped that up. You know what I mean? They would have told us as the viewers because they want to hype that up. They want to bring that attention like, yo, we got some returning players, man. You got to see this. They're not even mentioning it. Plus, uh, people would have to be quarantined and stuff. So it, there's no returning players. I'll tell you right now, there's nobody from season one to eight going back in that house. Uh, no, not happening. Not a chance. They would have They would have definitely teased us with it, you know, give us a little like, yo, we want more. And they haven't even done that. So no, not happening. Um some vibes from the live feeds. Beth seems well liked. Beth is awesome, dude. I like Beth, and I think she's gonna get along with a lot of people. Like I said it in the podcast, I did a podcast yesterday about the uh, premiere, and uh, she has that smile, that like welcoming face, like very friendly, like just a smile. She's got a beautiful smile, beautiful girl. Uh, seems very social. I think she's gonna do well. I think Beth is gonna do well. Uh, can we point out for a minute that the feast they won looked like this? Oh yeah, <laughs> the feast. It was like cold. Uh, what it looked like it was like cold, like uh, Swiss chalet packaged cold Swiss chalet, uh, dude. Uh, amazing. I know this feast was in like plastic containers. When I thought feast, I thought they were gonna like fuck, you know, bring it out on the on the on the on the table, you know, big old, you know, it's just little little containers. Like, oh, thank you. It's like got a little piece of chicken in there, you know, all bone, you know, it's all bone. They're like, oh, that was great, you know, crazy, crazy. Uh, we have Justin from BB2 to thank for that. What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, Mr. Uh, oh, BB can has more alcohol. Yes. Uh, do they than, than the US? I know you. Yeah. Season two, uh, the Justin thing. That was a crazy story, dude. That was a crazy story. Um, Godfrey 100. You don't consider salad a feast. I love it. It was legit some pasta in some tubs. What a, what a, what a, cra dude, that's crazy. So here's a, here's a funny little story, right? So, so. Um, whenever they give like the have nots a break, cause sometimes, you know, sometimes midweek or something, they would give the have nots like a break. They're like, yo man, we're going to get you guys some pizza. We're going to get pizza for the house. And, uh, it's always the same stale, cold pizza from the same place, man. And it's just like, you know, as happy as you are to eat this, you're like, Oh my God, dude, this stuff is so gross, man. You just get, at first it's like amazing. And then after you're just like, Oh my God, this is disgusting, dude. Uh, pasta and salad. I hope they had steak and lobster somewhere else. 
Yo, what's up, Supreme Leader? What's up, baby? What you saying, fam? Welcome in, dude. Welcome in. Always good to have you, man. The feast. Yeah, it was great. Uh, yo, what is up? Um, all right. Uh, we almost never get alcohol in the BBUS. Yeah, you know what? That, I guess that's true, man. I guess that's true. We don't, we trust me. We get it like three times. We literally get it like three times a season here. Three times a season. Uh, the only other times you get it, HOH. You get some in your HOH basket. You can share it with your house guest or you can drink it yourself. It's up to you. Um, there we go. Uh, is slop actually as, yes, 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 yes. So here's the thing, man. Um, you see how uh, Kiefer was like gagging at the smell? I promise you. It's that bad. I promise you it's that bad. Uh, the smell, the taste, the texture. Uh, oh, they were making their own slop. I found that interesting. So that's the first time they've done this. We, we never made our slop ever. Ever. In season three, season four, season five, season one, they never made their own slop. So um, that's very interesting to me because um, um, they had to make their own slop here. So you, normally it's someone from production. They lock the pantry. So you, you know you know they're either making the slop or the slop's uh, – someone's in there because you go to go in the pantry and it's locked. You can't even get in there, okay? Uh, and then when it's – you can hear it unlock. You can hear kind of like the latch going and it unlocks and you go in there's always a, a bucket of slop in there. Uh, whenever you run out, you have to you have to rinse out the, uh, the the bucket, and then you put the bucket back in there, and then someone from production comes in. They have like a, a secret door in there, and they come in, they take the bucket, and they bring it out. But you have to clean. It. If you don't clean it, they don't take it. Um, and then Justin, yeah, uh, it'd be an interesting twist if they provided unlimited alcohol for one week. Oh, dude, people people would get hospitalized. I guarantee you, there'd be alcohol poisoning because it's crazy. People, they they it, it, you, every se both times I played. There's always someone in there that they see alcohol and they're like, yo, I, I, give it to me. You know, I need that. Give it to me. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. For me, I'm just like, yo, take it. I don't fucking, what do I care, man? This is one beer. Like, take it. Take the beer, man. Go ahead. You have it. Um, in US, they make their own slop. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. No game talk until they all get out of the HOH. Still early, though. Let's uh, let the drinks flow. Uh, yeah, there's no game talk going on right now. There you go. Can you save it like a currency bribe someone later? I, I mean, I guess you could, but nobody's saving that. Like, like I, t like I can't even explain how important the alcohol is to some people in there. It's like the, the second it's on the table, like you see their eyes just like, yes, like I need this. And they run to it. Like nobody, nobody is saving the alcohol because I guarantee you nobody's going to let them save it. Like if, if, if that beer or drink or whatever stayed in the, in the fridge or whatever, it'd be gone. There's no way. Uh, no way. But yes, there's no rule against it, I don't think. But um, definitely it would never happen. Never happen. Every single one of them are in HOH. Looking at you, Danielle and Gary. Um, every single one of them are in HOH. Interesting. 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 So we're watching yesterday and today. Uh, who do you think is in a good spot? Uh, what, what group do you think is, how do you think this is going to play out? Do you think these people are going to, um, keep the, like, let, cause right now the way it looks, the way it looks is that, that group, the Jetson, uh, Tashan, Latoya, I guess Kyle's in there, Rashawn, uh, Rohan's in there. Uh, that's going to be running the house. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. It's going to, it probably start like that. But after a while people are like, yo man, we can't let this happen. We can't let this happen. So right now, right now, they're running the show. I don't know how long it's going to last, man. I don't know how long it's going to last, to be very, very honest with you. Uh, Kiefer is such a legend. I love him, man. I think he's great. I think he's great, dude. Actually, one thing I want to tell you that I thought was beautiful. What was the language called? What was that language called? I, I, I don't remember the name he called. That was incredible. That was, dude, that was incredible. And he said there's only like five people that could speak it fluently. That was inc I loved that, and I was just like sitting there going, "Yo!" Like he's saying it's very, it's a very hard language to speak, and 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 like, yeah, of course. You're liking Kiefer more uh, than I thought I would. Yeah, he's all see he any yo he seems super fun, man. He seems super fun. Uh, I really like Kiefer. I really really like Kiefer. Uh, Beth's in an amazing spot. Same with Tina. I feel Kyle is looking good. Rohan looking strong. Even Austin. Interesting. Interesting. Who was going after Rohan? Was it? Uh, it was Josh, right? So I think Josh is in trouble. Brayden, it looks like he's going to be in trouble. Um, who else was there? Brayden and Josh, I think, are at the bottom of the of the of the of the, of the pool. Tina is going to win the season. Not a chance. Not. A, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I should. Realistically, realistically, everybody has a fair shot. There's there's 14 players. There's 14 pieces of the pie. 
I mean, why not? Everybody has an equal share to the pie. Everybody does. It's split in 14 pieces. Every week, one piece gets uh, pulled out. Everyone has equal stake to it. Uh, she, do- I mean, everybody, anybody can win. You know, we don't know what's going on, but I, I don't see it. But um, I feel like Josh, Braden, and Austin are early boots. Uh, Kiefer seems like somebody that grew up down the road for me in North Carolina, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. If Braden lasts, he's going to be... The DR star. I don't know about Braden. I think I think Josh is gonna do good DRs. Um, I think Josh. I don't know about Braden. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not uh, Braden. I'm just kind of whatever about. Uh, Julie ruined that immediately. Yeah. Someone on the chat. Someone on the chat during the episode called Josh Johnny Mac 2.0. What? Uh, Josh seems so lame to me. Don't see that at all. Yeah, I don't see that. I don't see that at all, man. I don't see that at all. Um, all right. So, Brayden, you think they're? You think Brayden's the favorite? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who do, who do you think? Actually, that's a good question. Who do you think? That's a good question. Who do you think is, from what you I mean, it's very early. It's two episodes. But what character do you think they're going to push this, this, this season? Because they always push one. They always push a character every season. Like, yo, this is... And they're going to push, yo, Brayden? You think Brayden? I don't think Brayden, man. I think Kiefer could be one. Victoria, I, I like... But, oh, that's oh, that's the other thing I want to talk about, Victoria. Victoria, this is something I want to talk about. Victoria, I want to talk about. So, uh, here's the thing, guys. Okay, here's the thing. I want to talk about Victoria for a second. So... This, these are minor things that, that to a viewer, um, you might not think anything of it, okay? You might think, whatever, who cares? It's not a big deal. I promise you when you're in the house, these are things that, that really rub people the wrong way. Now, I don't know if that's what the case is here. It might be too early for this. I mean, you know, but you know how Victoria was so excited when she got her food and she screamed really loud? You hear that throughout the entire house, okay? How excited and everything. And I get it, they're excited. But then you see the other people carrying their slot bowls and they're all miserable. When you hear that that cheer, it affects you, man. And I know people are going to be like, what are you talking about, dude? I promise you, when you hear that and they're like cheering and you're like, yo, and you're sitting there with a the slop and you're like, yo, fuck those guys, dude. It really affects you, man. Um, so I think, and, and you know, rightfully so, she should be happy. Celebrate, you know? But uh, it's little things like that, man, that can really rub people the wrong way. And I know it's you're probably thinking, like, there's no way. I'm telling you. Yes, and um, it's little things like that that can rub people the wrong way, especially when they're on a low right there. And they're eating this shit. They're hungry, and they're like, oh, man, I got to eat this. And you hear them all happy over there, and she's screaming and yelling, and she's, you know, hey, man, rightfully so, but that's the stuff that can rub people the wrong way. Now, I don't know if it did anything this time. I don't know if it did affect anybody, but down the road, I'm telling you, that stuff can definitely uh, affect you and your game. Um, so Braden, you see Braden and Victoria. Oh, man, I see, uh, I don't know, Kiefer. Uh, a show like that would make, yeah. Well, that's, especially when you're hungry, you know what I mean. You're starving and you just want to eat, and and you could and, and you could smell that food. I promise you, you could smell that food. Um, I promise you, you could smell that food. And they're sitting there with the slop and they're like miserable and and uh, yeah. Um, who else? Have we, who did we not talk about? Roham we haven't talked about much. You don't see much of him. Uh, Tara. Tara, I like I like Tara. I like Tara. I like Tara. I do. I like Tara. I, you know, she's a mom. Um, I like her, man. I like her. I like her a lot. Um, when you're starving, your senses. Oh, dude, when you're hungry. Yeah, when you're hungry. Uh, when you're hungry. I mean, you get hangry. You've heard of that, right? You get hangry. Trust me, it's you're hangry in there too. Uh, that that have not room sounds terrible. Uh, yo, Eric, what's up, fam? Yeah, the uh, the have not room. So here's the thing. I talked about this a little bit in the podcast yesterday. Um, I'll tell you right now with the balls and stuff, they'll probably just move them to the side. Those those balls aren't going to be a big factor. Uh, I know it looks for like aesthetically for the show. The, it looks like how are they going to sleep on the balls? Uh, just move. They're going to move them to the side. They're going to put some clothes on the ground. It's it's not going to be as bad as people think. They might even just push all the balls into a corner of the room. You know what I mean? They're going to make a bed. They're, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Josh. I wonder if the vetoes will be the same. Uh, is there a veto? I think there is a veto, right? I think there is a veto uh, this week. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me see if Alec is ready. You guys want to, we're going to watch an episode. I want to get Alec in here. Um, we're going to get Alec in here and, uh, we'll watch an episode of BB can one. 
Uh, he might have to wait till later. I don't know if you watched the episode yet, but we are going to watch another episode tonight. We are watching BB Can One with Alec Beal. Uh, he comes in and uh, we do chat, and he, he breaks down this. It's it's hilarious, man. Um, but yeah, I don't know if he's watched his the episode on on uh, on the West Coast yet. He might watch it Eastern time. I don't know. I'm gonna uh, message him if he can do it. He's gonna come in. He said he'd love to. Um, how long are their balls? Good question. Good question. Uh, there's a veto this week. Oh, nice. So how, okay, so how does the, okay, how is the veto going to work? How is the veto going to work? Is it going to, um, is it going to be like the losing team plays, uh, in the veto? Is everybody going to play in the veto? Are they going to draw for the veto? Do we know that yet? Do we know that yet? Because I like the, see, here's the thing. I think, we'll go back to the team twist here for a second. I think the team twist was phenomenal. I think it was a really, if they didn't mess with this stuff, I think it was phenomenal. So basically what it is, is you have two teams, Right. One team wins, they're safe. The other team is in danger. I think they should have had it where the losing team just plays in veto together against each other. So they go from being on a team to now they're against each other. And uh, whoever wins, you know, is safe. Uh, or, I mean, they can use it, whatever. It doesn't matter. But I think it would be better if you win it, you're safe. Um, I wonder how they're going to do it. Which Nice. Nice. Uh, I don't think we know that yet, but I do hope it's just the team playing as it forces a civil war. That's exactly. See, that's what I'm saying. Mini Cheddar, that's what I'm saying. I hope it's like, uh, so you play as a team. So if you lose, you know, you play as a team. And then if you lose, you got to play now again as, po- as opponents against each other. I think that's a great uh, a great angle. Uh, what are your thoughts on Latoya being the cast member that BB pushes this season? She might be. She might be. She might be. What was the uh, what was the question that Julie asked? Or not, sorry, not Julie. Uh, what was the question that uh, Arissa asked her? What did Arissa ask her? I, uh... I like it. Now, here's my things about Latoya. Remember I said, so when that, I don't know if anybody, if anybody else caught this, but when they were all sitting in the back uh, yard and they were talking about their coming out stories and all that stuff, and then Latoya's like, I got something to say. And they all, I was talking about this a little bit earlier, and they all turned around and said, yo, finally, yes, we've been waiting for this. That was a big tell. That was a big, big tell to me that she doesn't open up. She hasn't been talking to too many people because they're like, finally, we've been trying to talk to you. I want to get to know you but you're not opening up to me. That's what they were saying when they all said, yo, finally, you know, we've been waiting for this. So I don't think she's, I think she's very closed. I think she's very closed um, and keeping a guard up to the other people in the house. She's very open with Jed, but she was really down to business. I don't know, man. Here's the thing. I don't know if she's going to rub people the wrong way because she's very down to business. Like even when she was talking to Jedson and, uh, and, and to Sean, you know, they're like, yo, I don't, and she's like, yo, listen, no, we got to talk. I want to, and, and which is a good, it's not bad. It's not bad. But she's very down to business, very serious. And sometimes you got to loosen up a little bit in that house to kind of, you know, bond with people. You know what I mean? Bond, you know, bond a little bit, you know? She's very down to business, which is fine. But sometimes you got to, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to be a little flexible. Uh, Latoya was asked if she threw out Julie's name. Oh, what did she say? What, what was her answer? I didn't see it. What was her answer? What was her answer? Just probably like, nah, I don't know. Maybe, yes, no, I don't know. And she replied with, I throw out everyone's name as a general discussion as we were all on the block. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. I mean, it's 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 kind of good. It's kind of good, but I don't know because then everyone's saying, "Well, she's been talking about me." Then why is she talking about me? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd like that answer. She's saying I threw out everybody's name. I don't know if I like that. You'd have to hear it. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Uh, from from just seeing it there, because then then if I'm on the block with her. You know, it's like, yo, wait a minute. She was talking about me? Like, who'd she talk to to about me? You know what I mean? She brought my name up. Why is she bringing my name up? Uh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. If she says she's bringing everybody's name up, that means she included me if I was on the block. I was like, yo, who are you talking to? You know? I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'll have to to rewatch it, and I'll I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys on that because I didn't didn't, didn't see the response, hear her response. But uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit whatever about that. Um... Uh, they're finally dispersing the HOH. So here's the thing. Right now, this is a big day for them. This is a long day for them, okay? So uh, it starts early in the morning. They're all getting ready. They're sitting on the couch all day. This is a stressful, especially the first one is a very stressful day. Um, there, I, I, I got I to gotta see the feeds. I, gotta see, the, I always like the first week feeds, like after the first eviction, so I guess the second week feeds, because um, this is when they're still kind of happy a little bit. And then, you know, they're all kind of, you know, trying to get to know each other still. And then you'll see it start going downhill. So you're saying Brayden and uh, and Austin are kind of like keeping themselves away from it, like secluding themselves. Not a good play. Not a good play. All right. So, um, um, hold on. 
you know what? Let me, uh, it was a bit weird as it seemed like Julia was a target and it probably wouldn't have mattered if Latoya was straight. That's what I'm saying. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, if Julie's the target anyway, if Julie's the target anyway, why not just say, yeah, I was throwing her. If she knows, if she knows Julie's going home, you know what I'm saying? If she knows Julie's going home, why say I was talking about everyone? Just say, yeah, yeah, I was talking about Julie. Yeah. You know, just who cares? Julie's leaving. Who cares? What's Julie going to do? Julie's leaving. She's gone. So, um, I don't know. I got to see, I got to see it to, to have like a, a, a real answer on it. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know why she would talk about everybody else when there's no need to. Um, 94 look at you look at you greg 94 percent. yo what's up shy hope uh okay hours what do you mean hours what do you mean hours oh alex is getting i don't think alex gonna be able to watch bb can tonight but he might want to play some cod or something yo bb lorenzo what's up baby what you saying welcome in so guys um dude what what a what a what a season though what a cast man i'm a little bit you know what i'm a little bit uh you know i i watch the i watch the show for the gameplay right um, Julie going first, uh, Julie going first. I think we're robbed a little bit by that. To be honest with you, I think, I think Julie would have brought a little bit of entertainment. Um, again, I don't care for like the, the, the drama and, and the dragging and, and stuff like that. I don't care for that. Um, I care for the gameplay, but you know what? I think Julie could have brought a lot to the table game wise and, uh, and entertainment wise. So I think we got, I think we got a little, I think we lose out. I think we lose out on this one, man. Um, I think we're losing out with having her go first. Um, back. When are we gaming together next week, dude? I mean, whenever, man. Whenever, 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 whenever. Uh, did you guys want to watch? Cheddar asked how long. Oh, sorry. What's that? Cheddar asked how long the house guests are on the couch. If it, oh, sorry, Cheddar. I didn't see that. Uh, yeah. Sorry. How long? Okay. How long are the house guests on the couch for an eviction night? All day. All day, all day, all day, all day, hours, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. So uh, we basically sit there on, so we go and we get ready in the morning. They wake us up early in the morning. Uh, the two people that are nom well, see, this one's different. I don't know, because normally the two people that are nominated pack their bags. So I guess the losing team packs their bag. Everybody has to have their bags packed, I guess, because normally the two nominees have to pack all their stuff, everything, all their shoes, their bed, their clothes, everything. Pack it up, and then you put your bag in the... Um, in the pantry and it gets locked in the pantry. Well, not locked. It's in the pantry. And then you have a little, like the little handbag. Uh, you put, you're supposed to just put like a pair of shoes in there and then you have it by beside the stairs. So when you go out, you pick up your bag and you walk up the stairs. That's, that's the rules, right? Um, but with everybody on the block, I don't know if everyone has to pack their bags. I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, this is the first time they've done this. So I don't know if everyone has to have their bags packed or not, but, um, how long are you on the couch? Um, so in the morning, so they wake up early in the morning, Everyone's got to pack their bags. You get ready. Everyone's always done up on eviction night. I don't know why it's always just eviction night. You know, you're always on camera, right? But I guess you don't really think about that when you're in the house. So uh, everyone gets done up. You sit on the couch, I would say, three plus hours, maybe more. Probably more than that. Five hours. It's a long time. It's a long time. Yeah, long time. And you got to sit there. Uh, you have to make sure the kitchen's clean. The counters in the kitchen. You can't see any, like, mugs or cups or plates on the counter. They have to make sure that's clean. Um, that's a big thing. They make sure that's done. Uh, and then you just sit on the couch and wait. And a lot of times, to be honest with you, a lot of times people are just sleeping on the couch. So you just sit on the, people are just sitting there sleeping. And then Arisa, they'll be like, someone will come on the intercom and be like, all right, guys, we're going live. We're going live. We're going live. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. So then everyone's like, you know, you see them like, like okay, oh, they're all sitting up all proper and stuff. You know, T three seconds earlier, they're like drooling and they're like this and they're just drooling, you know, and they're like, wake up, wake up. And they're like, okay, oh, yo, bro, yo. Hey, and then everyone's like sitting up proper and smiling, and then you see Arissa pop up, you know. Um, but yeah, dude, it's uh, you're there for hours, and like I say, people are just sleeping on the on the couch. A lot of the times, people are just sleeping or just sitting there staring into nothing. Um, anyone else think Deshaun is similar to Cody Calfiore? They got similar mannerisms, dude. Cody is a fantastic. Actually, I was in his stream today. Cody is a fantastic uh, social player, competitor. Uh, that's a big compliment. Cody is phenomenal. Uh, you ever going to play BB the game again? No. No, 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 never, never. The, the video game, no, no, not for me. It, basically, the video game is not anything, it's nothing like Big Brother. I know people think they're playing Big Brother. Uh, people think they're playing Big Brother when they're playing Big Brother the video game. It is nothing like the game. I promise you, it is nothing like Big Brother. Big Brother the video game is more like The Sims with mini, mini games. It's 0% it's like Big Brother, nothing at all, no. Um, 
Big Brother the game looked like a bit of yikes from my, oh yes uh, mini cheddar 100% huge yikes huge uh, they're talking about the questions on the feeds now and how they felt oh what are they yo let me know what are they because to me those questions are bullshit take them out of the game they need to change that take that out of the game uh, I would be evicted first for snoring I come up dude so um, I'll tell you something who was it Gary that snored Dylan Dylan snored Greg Ginger Ninja snored um yeah, sometimes the things you do, man, it has nothing to do with the game. People want to get you out. Like, like I've talked about this before on season five. Uh, it was really hot in the house. So Gary would go into the freezer and take all the frozen vegetables and he'd put them on his body. So we have to throw out the vegetables because now they're no good anymore. And Dylan hated that. And Dylan wanted to vote Gary out from literally night one because of that. Because he's like, dude, he just wastes all our vegetables. 